Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Storm. And I'm Dennis, and today what we're going to do, we're going to do our continuation of the Plast slash Digital Ocean series. We already set up a Plast control panel on Digital Ocean VPS server. We then installed a domain name onto Plask. And the third thing we done is install a WordPress website into Plask and DigitalOcean VPS. And today what we're going to do, we're going to use Cloudflare and secure our domain name that we have installed. So what I need us to do is go to, when I say kotzen.xyz, just substitute it for your domain name that you've been using on this series. So in my case, I'm going to go to kotzen.xyz colon eight four four three I'm gonna log in under the admin of course whatever passcode you set up when you first installed it and click log in it'll bring you to the front page of our plask and of course as you could tell our SSL certificate domain not in secure now later, well, I'm going to show you how to do DigitalOcean DNS, and we use their service instead of Cloudflare. Cloudflare manages our DNS, and, and it does so much for us, and it does it for free. So what I want you to do, if you haven't already done so, is to sign up, and if you haven't, or if you have, just go ahead and click Log In. It'll bring you to the front page, similar to mine. And at this time, what we're going to do, we're going to add a site. But if you could tell that uh, we're back over here at Cloudflare, and of course we don't have anything set up under it. It's not secure. So if I go to kotzen.xyz, you will see that it's not secure. If I click it, your dumb connection is, to this site isn't secure. So that's what we're wanting to do. Not only will it secure our site by trusted certificate authority, it will also cache it in all over the world at their CDN servers, which will allow faster delivery, better response time, better ranking. You name it, it is a great product that Cloudflare offer. All right. The next thing I need to do, we're going to add a site so go down here to add a site click it and type in your domain in this case is kotzen and when i say kotzen again just put substitute it for yours dot xyz i'm going to click add site now bring me to the plan of course you could pick the plan you want but for our tutorial and for what most people need is going to be the free zero dollars okay we're going to click the zero or free and we're going to hit continue right now it's scanning our site for dns records to import automatically onto cloudflare apparently it found one a record one c name record five mx records and one text record of course, if you see this icon with the orange cloud and the arrow going through it, that means it's proxied through Cloudflare. If you see the gray out cloud with the arrow going around, it's just resolving the DNS only and it's bypassing Cloudflare. We're going to click. It says next to uh, change your name servers. Of course, if you don't know where your name server is located, you can click this who is and it'll bring you to this particular site where you can look up type in your IP address but your domain name and it'll tell you who you registered through but if you do know who you registered to what we need to do is log in at our administrator account of course wherever you have your domain service you know it's going to be very similar to Namecheap so maybe a little small differences but it should be close go to it log in go to the name you're going to use and then the next thing it tells us we need to remove the following name servers of course this dns1 and dns2 are name cheap name servers it's telling us we need to remove it and add the cloud names name server 
these two here. Go to domain. Go now name to name servers. And if you look beside it, right now we're using Namecheap Basic DNS, which is nothing wrong with Namecheap. They got a pretty good DNS servers. But we're going to click that down link, and we're going to go to Custom DNS. Click it. And again, what we're going to do, we're going to add, we're going to copy, we're going to paste the Cloudflare DNS services. And we're going to have a custom DNS name to associate with our Cloudflare account to not only keep it secure, but to manage content delivery. I mean, Cloudflare does so much for you. And then when you get through adding those two, I need you to go to the check mark and click save. Of course, as it propagates or thinking about it it should be saved it is it says it could take up 48 hours it's been my experience that it does not take that long but overall and i'll show you what i'm talking about it does take a while before every uh, dns server around the country understands or propagates properly so it can only take a while but it will start immediately doing so now what we need to do is go back to Cloudflare since we saved our changes it says Cloudflare could take up to 24 hours again it won't take but a few minutes to start propagating but it will take a while before every check marks be transferred over to the one then we're going to click done check name servers of course it brings us to this quick start guide where we can configure our domain settings to improve security optimize performance and get the most out of our account we definitely want to do this so click start and the first thing is ss is the automatic https rewrites definitely want this to be green and with a check mark of course click save and we go to the next one it says always use https we definitely want that click to with the green and the check mark what this will do, instead of being an unsecured server it goes to, it will always go to your secure server. And click Save. The third option, auto minify Reduce the file size or code of your file. This is never a bad thing. JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. I always like to check it and click Save. And the last but not least is Broadly. It speeds up our web page or our page load times for the visitors, HTTPS, by applying the Broadly compression. Definitely click it and click Save. Now, it's going to bring us to a summary. Of course, it tells us what we have done. Of course, we know that, and we're going to click Finish. And when you finish, it'll bring you to this little section that says Complete Your Name Server Setup. And we're going to go down to Cloudflare Periodic Checks and click Check Name Server. It says it'll be a few hours for update, but it will start propagating in within the next few minutes. But it does take some time. I want you to go open a new tab, and we're going to go to What's My DNS.net. Type in your domain name with the that you're using in this case I will be using Kotzen.xyz sometimes you may have to put an www in front of course it's going to check my a records and I click search as you can tell <clears throat> it hasn't propagated any yet it's still showing my IP address which is from DigitalOcean so a lot of times you'll see two IP address on one thing. That's how we know it's starting to propagate over to Cloudflare. Of course, if we go down to C name, it doesn't show anything there because we got to put the www in front of it in order to get to propagate it on the C name. And as you can tell, the C name is pretty much propagated all but in two spots. And as we wait, these two spots eventually go from X to a check mark. These are name cheap standard register servers. You will start seeing both of these name servers start to propagate. But for right now, as you could tell, it's showing this. And if I go back to 
cotson.xyz. More likely, it's still got cache in memory, and it's going to still show this, or it may not even go to the web page. But that's only because it's still cached, and it's caching from the old IP address. See, as you can tell, it's HTTPS is not secure. Hey, right, everyone, we're back, and I believe we got enough propagated in order to show you how it works. So on what's my DNS.net, I put in my Kotzen.xyz. So put in your domain name under A records and click search. And as you could tell, these two IP address that's in the same, those are Cloudflare IP address, the, D, the NS1 record and the NS2. But there's still a lot of the old records that's still in there throughout the world. And if you go up here and type in or click the NS records and click search, you will see that the Cloudflare account is starting to propagate. There's Namecheap, the DNS12 registrar, but for the most part, you're seeing the Cloudflare account going. I do believe this is enough for us to get started and check if it is actually secured our web server or in their case our DNA or D domain name so just click a new tab and type in your website or domain name and click enter and as you could tell I got a lock icon and if I click that like icon it says connection is secure so I know what I want to do is click here go up to this little certificate and when I click it it should mentioned cloudflare cloudflare is my the one responsible for securing the dns records so that is good that tells me to propagate it i don't know for sure if it has the origin server but we're going to go and try that and there we go it's got that lock icon and if I click this lock icon, it says connection is secure. We go over, click this certificate, and it should say Cloudflare. And it does. So basically, now our Cloudflare account has secured our domain name in our website and also secured the back end PLAS control panel. As you see, we're inside of our PLAS website or the back end showing secure and if i click this again cloudflare so not only did we secure our website we secure our control panel we got everything done and so even though well, i'm going to throw this out to you it's still going to say domain not secure down here and that's only because plask itself did not secure this this was secured by an outside source cloudflare so you may see this down here but just rest assured your service is secure and if i go to cloudflare website and where i logged in as you could tell cotson xyz is active and if i click it the overview it says great news cloudflare is now protecting your site of course if i could go to dns records and it show you all the DNS records that's associated with it. But at this time, this is how we secure our website and our Plask control panel on DigitalOcean using Cloudflare. Y'all, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe below.